In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix CurseForge mod packs crashing on startup. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to determine why your mod pack is crashing in the first place. And thankfully, CurseForge does give you a log where it will tell you the exact reason. In order to access that log, all you need to do is you need to select on the mod pack that is giving you the issue. Then select on these three dots. Go ahead and select on open folder just like so. You're then going to get a bunch of folders that look like this, but all you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see the logs folder in all lowercase. So go ahead and double click on it just like so. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on latest.log just like so. It is then going to give you a log of the latest instance of the mod pack right over here. And typically in the log, it is going to let you know the exact error. Now, some of the most common errors include Java heap space, unsupported class file major version, mixing apply failed or mod requires forge slash fabric. Okay, so if you see something like Java heap space, then that fix is relatively easy. And the most common fix for this issue is to just allocate more RAM to the installation. So to do that, what you wanna do is you wanna open up CurseForge, go to left menu, scroll down until you see settings. Then you wanna go ahead and select on game specific and go ahead and press on Minecraft just like so. Scroll down all the way over here until you see this option that says allocated memory. And basically, you wanna set your allocated memory to as much as possible. This will depend on how much RAM you have on your PC. If you have a PC that has 16 gigabytes of RAM, go ahead and put it up to 16. Me personally, I have eight gigabytes of RAM, so that's why I uh, set mine allocated memory to 8032 megabytes of RAM over here. And just as a general rule of thumb, light packs require around four gigabytes, medium packs require six to eight gigabytes, and heavy mod packs such as all the mods, RL crap, or vault hunters, those really require eight to 10 gigabytes of RAM. If you guys have been finding this video helpful so far, consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to create a 24 seven unlimited thought server for you and all of your friends. The best part about Simple Game Hosting is that you're able to customize every single aspect of your server. You can make it Java only, Bedrock only, crossplay and download mods, mod packs and plugins with the click of a single button. In fact, Simple Game Hosting specializes in creating modded servers. So you're easily able to make a all the mods 10 server, a Pixelmon server, a Colomon server. It really is up to you. And from personal experience, playing mod packs with your friends is even more fun. At the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. If that is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. Now, another really common reason why this could be happening is not using the correct version of Java. So to check, what you want to do is you want to select on the Curse Forge settings one more time. Go ahead and select on Minecraft. And then what you want to do from here is you want to scroll down. And basically, you just want to make sure that whenever you're playing the mod pack you're trying to play on, that you have the correct version of Java. Now, as a general rule of thumb, many of the most recent mod packs require Java 21, which is right over here. This is between versions 1.20.5 and above. Java 17 is for Minecraft versions 1.18 to 1.20.4. And anything that is 1.16.5 or older, that uses Java 8. So again, use that as a general rule of thumb. Next up, we have conflicting mods. Now, sometimes what could be happening is that you have a conflicting mod inside of your mod pack, and therefore it is causing that issue. So sometimes if you try to add like the essential mod, for example, to one of these mod packs, it is just not going to work. Or if it's a mod that only works on fabric and you're running forge, that is also not gonna work as well. So in order to actually check, all you wanna do is you wanna press on these three dots, go ahead and select on open folder, Go ahead and look at the mods folder just like so. And then from here, you should be able to go ahead and find all of the different mods. And you just want to remove the mod that is causing you this issue. And typically, it is going to let you know in the log that we looked at in the beginning of the video, which mods are actually creating this problem. So you just want to go ahead and remove any additional mods that you try to add. But if none of that is working, then what you could also do is you could repair or reinstall the mod pack itself. And corrupted files are common, especially if it's a really, really big mod pack and you used it for a really long time. So in order to fix it, you need to press on these three dots. Then you need to go ahead and select on repair profile right over here. All right, and then there you go. It is now gonna repair for you and go ahead and give it another shot. If you guys have any other ideas or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below so that you're able to help out other people who watch this video because unfortunately, there is no cookie cutter solution. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.